Now, what if we have this kind of example? We're in, yes, your pivot point is there, but it's not at the center of the seesaw as you can see. So you still have two objects, okay? You have this cat or two cats. Let's go, This is the orange cat see, uh, at a position 0.5 meters from this. Let's just say this is a ruler, okay? Zero, and we know this to be two meters long. Okay, so this cat over here is seated at 0.5 meters, at the 0.5 meter mark, okay? This cat over here is seated at the 1.75 meter mark. Let's just uh, make it 0 0.50 to be consistent. Now, in this case, you would typically solve for the moments of both cats but there's one thing that you have to account for when the pivot point as you could see is not at the exact center of the seesaw it's not at the center of mass of the seesaw then you have to also account for the fact that the seesaw itself has its own mass and therefore if it has its own mass then it will also exert a moment and according to this the force of this seesaw the weight of the seesaw is 13 newtons okay so we know this to be at the position 1.0 because that's the exact center okay and it exerts a force downward of 30 newtons okay let's just uh, clean up my drawing a little bit so 0.50 meter mark and you don't know the mass or you don't know the weight rather I should uh, relabel that f of 1 okay as for this one, you know that this guy is 70 newtons and he is at 1.75 meters away from the pivot point. Okay, so in this case, when we get to the uh, moment equation, the sum of all moments is equal to zero. We have to account for the clockwise and counterclockwise moments. And how many counterclockwise moments do we have? We have two because this is one of them, the cat. And the other one is given by your seesaw, okay? Because if it were just if the cats were to leave, this seesaw would tip in the favor of the counterclockwise direction because it is off center. So we have to account for that, and we have to uh, say that the moment of cat one plus the moment of cat of the seesaw, okay is the counterclock or the counterclockwise moments now how about this one the, cl the clockwise moments would be this cat number two okay and what are their moments equal to so one thing is you're given positions here okay if you want to get the distance from the center of support then the important thing is you have to subtract okay so you know that the uh, pivot point is one point at the 1.25 meter mark you know that this cat is at the 0.50 meter mark. Therefore, this distance over here would be 1.25 minus 0.50. Okay? And this would be equal to 0.75 meters. So this cat is 0.75 meters away from the center. Not 0.50, but 0.75. Now, how about the ruler or the seesaw? So this seesaw over here, the center of gravity is at the 1 meter mark, the center of the actual seesaw, and its uh, center of support is 1.25. So therefore, this distance over here is 0.25 meters when you subtract. So that's the moment arm. Now, when we talk about this cat over here, 1.25 meter mark is the center of support, and it's seated at the 1.75 meter mark. Therefore, this distance over here is 1.75 minus 1.25, which is 0.50 meters. So there, you have the actual distances now. We can now calculate for the missing quantity, which is the uh, how much weight does this cat have. So let's see, cat number one. Well, you don't know the weight, so let me just label that. You don't know the F of this cat, but you know that this cat is positioned 0.75 meters away from the center of support. Now, let's account for the seesaw. The seesaw itself has a force or a weight of 13 newtons exerted at a distance of 0.25 meters away from the center of support. And finally, you have cat number two. Okay negative because it's counter it's clockwise sorry so this cat over here 17 newton force 
exerted a distance of 0.50 meters. Okay, so when we uh, run our calculations here, so we can put everything to one side. So it's just going to be 30 newtons times 0.25 minus 70 times 0.50. So when we subtract that, we divide that by 0.75. So let me get my calculator real quick. Calculator, okay, clear. Oops, I accidentally discarded everything actually. Now, what was that again? 30, I apologize, times 0.25. Okay, this is really, really uh, weird. Okay, and you know that it has, there's a negative moment. Minus, okay, let me just try to remember it. Calm down. 70 times, okay, 1.75 minus 1.25 is 0.5. So this will be equal to that. And we know we will divide this. When we transplant this to the other side, it will be just 27.5. So we simply divide this by, make this positive and divide this by the distance of this thing from the center. So what's 1.25 minus 0.50? That's 0.75. And we will get, okay. 36.6 newtons. However, we have to also account for the fact that this would be positive. So the final answer for this problem would be force 1 is 36.6 newtons. Okay, so this cat over here, 36.6 newtons. There's a ruler that ex or the seesaw that has a 30 newton force at the very center. And you have cat number two, 70 newtons.